for a second time in less than a week, Tulsa police arrest a suspected serial burglar. The latest arrest came after police found stolen property at the home of Joey Doty. 2 News reporter Casey Roebuck joins us live from police headquarters with the newest information. Casey? Well, Doty is still being questioned here at police headquarters. It could be days before we know exactly how many crimes he is linked to. So much loot was recovered from Joey Doty's home that burglary detectives had to use shopping carts to haul it inside police headquarters. Officers recovered everything from jewelry to antique cameras, even golf clubs. Cars, uh, residential businesses, shoplifting, I mean, anything to, you know, that wasn't nailed down, so to speak, that it would be gone. Burglary Corporal Gene Watkins says most of the loot recovered from Doty's home matches reports his unit was already working on. A lot of the stuff we actually know were on this case where the burglaries have occurred, and so we're contacting the owners. One week earlier, burglary detectives arrested yet another suspected serial burglar, Joshua Sanders. After police say a neighbor helped to foil his escape, he's accused of breaking into a Tulsa home while a frightened 13 year old girl was home alone. This is a recording of her phone call to 911. Where's your phone number, dog? 911. What's going on? Yes, um, yes, um, someone has broken my house. Are you in the house? Yes, I'm are, home alone. Are they in the house? Yes. Police say items recovered from that bust have linked Sanders to 22 other burglaries. Police are still working to identify additional victims so they can return their property. A lot of times we concentrate on the, the burglars like Mr. You know, Joe here and, and Joshua because they're for multiple. For all the property that we've recovered, you know, usually they're good for probably twice that amount of burglaries. And Doty will be booked into the county jail after questioning. Sanders has been charged with first degree burglary. He is free on bond tonight. Live in downtown, Casey Roebuck, 2 News, works for you.